You are welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce a figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in auxiliary projection. And the question that accompanies this diagram says, given the front elevation of a cube, Inclined to the horizontal plane, draw an auxiliary elevation on the ground line x1, y1 at 60 degree to the horizontal axis. Now, first thing we have to do, we need to reproduce this figure. Let me take my T square and I'm going to draw my horizontal line in this manner. Hope you can see that. Now, let me pick a point on that horizontal line. Let's say this is the point. And I'll call it my point zero, where my arrow is pointing. What I'm about to draw now is the front elevation. Right? This is the front elevation. This is the plan. So I want to draw the front elevation first. So the zero, I mean at this point, is zero. Now, if I should place my T square on my C square, my C square, my T square, and I move it to that point zero, and I will draw a line this way. Line. I see that? And I'm going to in this direction means that the angle between here and here is what is 60 degree similarly if i lie it down this way and i'll take it to that point zero and i'll draw another line this way meaning that the angle between here and here is what 30 whenever your C square is placed in this manner, this angle is 30 to the horizontal, and whenever it is placed in this manner, this angle is 60 to the horizontal. Are we together? So now we are given one side of the cube. We are told this cube should be 40 millimeter. I will know in the cube all the sides, the length, the height, the width are all the same right meaning everything is worth 40. so what i'll do is i'm going to take my meter rule and i'm going to measure 40. so if i should start from here i start from zero here right from 0 to 13 to 14 is 40. taking my zero to be one hope you can see from 0, this is 0, from 10, 20, this is 10, 20, 30, 40, right? From 0 to 4 is 40. And I'll place it at this point 0. I'll strike an arc up. I'll strike an arc here also. So at this point here will be my point 1. And at this point here, will be my point two can you see that now what i'll do is to draw a parallel line because the lines are parallel a line parallel to this so I'll place my c square what i used to get the 30 degree and i'm going to move it to two can you see that and I'm going to draw this. Hope you can see that. You see, they are not parallel. And I'll stand it this way. What I wish to get 60, I'll move it to 1. And I'm going to get this part here. So where it meets, that will be my point towards point 3. So we have 0, as you can see on the screen, point 1, point 2. And what point three? Now I am going to thicken it. 
all these points to this point to this point then this point hope you can see that right now the next thing is i want to draw my plan what i will do is i'm going to project each of these points downward in this fashion i'll come here to using your faint line in this fashion come here also in this fashion and this in this fashion at any given distance i should be able to draw my what my plan i can decide to move it 10 millimeter away from this if i want to any given distance so i can see from here to here at any what given distance so this is 10 so <clears throat> we move if you take your diagram from the plan here from here to here sticking it will be from here to here and the thickness here will be the same as this one here which is what 40 all good it will be what 40 because the cube have all its size equal so I'll measure the 40 <clears throat> from here 0 to 2 I'll come here I'll mark so from this point I'm going to thicken it and I'm going to thicken here too as you can see in the diagram then here also right now if you are looking at it from the plan this place the top you know you cannot see here that is why this part here as in the diagram is hidden then you can see here here will be what thickened You can see that now i can easily name each of those points to make things easier for me but before then we are told we should draw the auxiliary elevation we know that this is the auxiliary elevation so if you have to draw the right elevation you must project the plan and if you have to draw the auxiliary plan you project the elevation so since they said a light elevation project the plan we are not told that the ground line that will be our reference point of projection x1 y1 is at 60 degree to the horizontal so when i place it this way this is the ground line here and when i place my line this way right this is angle 60 so i can easily place it this way you can see that easily what place it this way and i'll draw this line and i'll do what i'll draw that line i can even thicken it so that is my um that is my x one and what y one at an angle of what of sixty degree to the ground line right so we know from our diagram does look what we can see the angle between here and here 
60 degree then here and here is 30 degree so we proceed now since I projected here with 30 whatever we're coming from here will be what will be 30 since there is 60 whatever I bring from here will be what 30 so since I use here to project this line this way this is I use here to draw this line I must use here to project each of these points let me call it to be A here to be B here to be C D E F G and H so I will now use a bigger version of this to make it easier for me now this is a bigger version here you can see so I'll remove this what I'm using here to project so when I move it to this point I'll project you can see that I'll move it to the next point also G I'll project move it to F I'll project move it to E I'll project move it to A I'll project move it to B I'll project move it to C I'll project move it to D I'll project now what you understand here now what do you achieve you are having 90 degree all this line is perpendicular to this line 90 degree so it means that if this is 45 you must project with 35 if this is 20 you must project with 70 so that they will attain perpendicular point is that taken out now we'll start now since you project the plan you must take your measurement from the elevation right now what I will just do is this is point zero right this is what point zero if you trace point zero to point B you move the line this is what you have in here so point B is on this line right point B is where is on this line so here will be my point B on this line we'll call it 0b right point b point 0 will be on this line we'll put it that way now similarly i will come again on that same line right on the same line we have point g so I'll trace point g to where point g will be so i'll call it to be what my zero prime meaning zero has two points or better still i can just decide to use the alphabet we have zero give you what b and g so one point zero you go to b you get point zero one point zero you get to g you get another word point zero you can use b and g if you want to i'll call them zero and zero prime depend on what you want to do now similarly i will come to the next point let me take 2.2 point 2 falls on a and h so if i place my compass on this reference line the ground line to point 2 right i will trace the line since they're on the same line i'll trace the line of a from this point i'm going to mark here on the line of a I'll call that point two. Point two. I'll come to the line of H. I'll come here also. I'm going to mark. I'll call that point two prime. Because it's still point two that we are considering. Now, in doing that, I'll come again. At point three, I'll trace it down to C. So with the ground line to point three right i'm going to come to c i'll trace it from this point i'll get what point c so that will be three here now 
then the same line at f i'll trace it from here the same measurement i'll call it what three prime can you see that then i'll come to one here i'll trace it to point one right i will now move where to where one is i'll trace the line is at this point from here i will mark point one that is what point one then with the same measurement i'll go to east since they are on the same line i'll move to this point i'll have one prime then i'll start joining see what i want to do now i'm going to join three to three Fent line first i'll join two to two Fent line first i'll join one to one Fent line first i will join zero to zero that's what we have now what do you notice two and zero is connected right two and what zero is connected so I'll come to two connect it to what zero Fent line how good come to two prime connect it to what zero prime all together and the next thing again, 1 and 0 is connected. So I'll come to 1, connect it to 0. And I'll come to 1 prime, connect it to 0 prime. Are you with me? What do you notice? 3 and 2 is connected. I'll come to 3, connect it to 2. And I'll come to 3 prime, connect it to what? 2 prime then one and three is connected so i'll come to three connected to one and i'll come to three prime connected to one prime can you see what i'm having here now so now i'm going to thicken it and bring everything out so from here this will be thickened right hope you can see that this will be thickened 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 so from here this also will be thickened from here to this point here this also will be this point from here is connected to this point here this point two is connected to this point here right the rest inside we cannot see so i can easily use hidden line since it is a solid object from here too since it's a solid object from here too since it is solid object from here at this point you can see so this is the auxiliary because you look at b and g is on point zero right so the way you're looking at it what is inside you cannot see looking at it from the side so this is the auxiliary projection of this figure that you can see so if you have found this helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching